with you? Well, not in the same bedroom, of course, but it's a star. It gives a chance to to work things through. Oh, so, so I'd, I'd be like your roomie. Um, we could share the the, the rent and, and, and utilities and groceries. No, and Carly, like that. no. I don't my house. No, wait, what's that? It, it beats moving further apart. You, you think that I want my own place so I can forget our life together? You know something, Jack? Sometimes you are so incredibly thick. I will never be able to forget us, not as long as I live. But I will not go backwards, not even for you. And we didn't work. We kept making the same mistakes over right, right, and over. Maybe this can give us a chance to fix those this mistakes. This could give you a chance to keep an eye on me, no. right? And maybe this baby too, just just in case that's she is yours. Not it, Carly. Really? Because that's that's what I want to try like. to rebuild our life. With me sacked out in the guest room until you decide you can trust me again? No. No, thank you. At least we'd be together. No, I don't consider that together. And frankly, I don't I don't ever want to go back to Milltown again. Why not? Because it wasn't mine. It was yours. It was your place I was living in it, and I could never make it my own. I want to stand on my own two feet and make a life for me and Parker. I was a part of that life. I made you my whole life. Look where it got me. When we split, I had, I had nothing to fall back on. I'm living with Mike, Jack. I'm, I'm borrowing money from Rosanna. And now you want some weird platonic setup where I'm living in a house where a million bad things have happened? You're driving me insane, Jack. You Just and everybody else in my life right now. I, am not, I don't need to think about it. God, I love you. But I do not want to need you. I know that I'm going to hate myself for not taking that key. But I don't want to keep chasing the same dream. I want it to come true. For both of us. For real. And I want to be the one sitting there with a proud smile on my face when they hand you that gold watch. Hey. What? Honey, what is it? I am. Um, you right? Oh, the... The room is spinning, Jack. I'm... I feel like I'm gonna pass out, Jack. All right. Thanks. How are you feeling? My head's pounding. Oh, honey, you're burning up. You know what? I'm gonna call you. Jack, no, Jack. I'm scared. What if it's the baby? Hi, yes, is, is, is Dr. John Dixon on call tonight? Right, could, could you give him a message? This is Detective Snyder. I'm going to bring Carly in. She's five months pregnant. She's got a throbbing headache. She's experiencing dizziness and palpitations. Oh, Jack, uh, Dr. Schiller. Oh, and, and uh, leave the same message for Dr. Schiller. That's her obstetrician. Okay, we should see you in about 15 minutes. Thanks. Oh, my head. It feels like it's going to explode, Jack. Just take it easy, all right? <laughs> Jack, what's going on? Go back to bed. Uh, Jack's just going to take me to the hospital. Is it the baby? You want to make yourself useful, open the door. Do you want me to take her? No, she doesn't want you to take her. I didn't ask you, did I? I'll, I'll, I'll meet you there, all right? And this will never happen again. Where's Carly? in there with John. Look, since you're not family, they're not going to let you see her. You might as well go home. Hey, this is your fault, Jack. Dr. Max, extension 456. How's your pressure? Still rising. The baby? I'm getting a nice, strong heartbeat. <laughs> My heart's pounding. Side destruction, are you? Is going to be okay, John? Wait outside, please, Jack. Hang in there, Carly. I want right. you to take a nice, easy... Carly, take it easy. Nice, easy breath, huh? <laughs> What's going on? I, I don't know. Whatever it is, they're trying to get it under control. What happened back at the house? Are you two arguing? No, Mike, we were not arguing. What, what part of no stress do you not get? She's supposed to take it easy. Yeah, how's she supposed to do that? Pregnant, living with you. You just couldn't wait till the morning, could you? She should have been sleeping. Yeah, she would have been if you hadn't jumped her five months ago. You're looking for someone to blame? Look in a mirror. 
remove the pressure. It's so early, we could lose the baby. We could also lose the mother. I'm going to call the prenatal intensive care unit. I really don't want to go that route. Not yet. They should be prepared. Excuse me. What, um, what's going on? Carly has developed a condition called preeclampsia. Oh, that's dangerous. Carly had a pamphlet about her high blood pressure. Yeah, elevated pressure is often a precursor. So this is a blood pressure thing? No, actually, it's, it's a pregnancy thing. The blood pressure rises to dangerously high levels due to complicated issues related to pregnancy. It, it resolves when the woman delivers. But in the meantime, the blood flow and nutrients of the placenta could become compromised, depriving the baby of oxygen. But you, you can treat it, right? Yes, we, we have her on the appropriate meds. Yeah, but what we're trying to do is avoid full-blown eclampsia. What happens then? Doctor show perform a C-section. Wait a minute, the baby is only... Barely 20 weeks. Isn't that too early? It's problematic, which is why we like to try to buy as much time as possible. Even a few days can make a difference. The, the problem here is that the mother can develop seizures and go into comas. Well, you're saying that Carly may be at risk? Yeah, I, I would do a C-section before full-blown eclampsia became an issue. But it could be a risk. Look, if the best course right now for both mother and baby is to stabilize Carly and watch her very carefully. Dr. Schiller is right. But the idea here is for Carly to carry full term. And in order to do that, she must have complete rest, no problems. And now, how is that going to happen, boys? We understand. If either of you have any questions. Thank you very much, Doctor. Did you hear that? Carly needs peace and quiet. Meaning? I mean, stay the hell away from her. If you think you can use this to get me out of the picture, you took yourself out of the picture, Jack. You filed for divorce, hey, so let her go. Relationship with my wife is none of your business. What relationship? You want her? You don't want her? You're stressed out. This is not what, what I want. What about her? Mind? She is at best confused. No, she is not confused. She loves you. Why? I have no idea what she does. Turns you up, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. She needs help. And since you can't see past your hurt feelings, no, my feelings are, are not the issue here. Really? Then why am I a problem, Jack? You want to help her? Do it. Get out of the way for five minutes, and I might. And let her hang in the wind till you make up your mind? That's not going to happen. And if Carly doesn't want you running her life, I am not running her life. I am simply trying to help her out during a pregnancy so she can figure out what she wants to do next. Oh, I see. Then you know that she went to her sister to ask her for a loan to get her own place. Yeah, that's right. She was sick of you trying to take over, Mike, naming the baby. We don't even know where the father is yet. She went to Rosanna for money so she can move away from you. We're getting ready to take Carly down to ultrasound. All right, I'll ride up with her. Listen, I know that this is a difficult situation, but it's time to grow up, fellas. There are lives at stake here. So what do you say we put Carly and the baby first, all right? So, man, you heard the man said there's no point in you hanging around. I'm not going anywhere until I know Carly and the baby are Just so you know, when they release her, there are going to be some changes. Hey, hey, hey. Jack, hey. Hey, Jack am I going to lose the baby? No, of course not. Are you sure? Hey, you've got two doctors that said that they are going to try to get this thing under control. And they're going to do everything they can to make sure that you and the baby are going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay, I promise. All right, come on. Let's go take some pictures.